So the Oscars are, as we mentioned, they're, they're this weekend. Now, while most of us are wondering who is going to take home the statue, it gives us the opportunity to chat about how the stars prepared for their roles. And we have an expert who knows all of these things, founder and, uh, of the blog all and the website, things. yes, <laughs> uh, from Pretty Wellness, motivational speaker and two-time breast cancer survivor, Karen Sullivan, joins us to talk all about the wellness and the Oscars. Karen, thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me, guys. It's great to be back. Absolutely. It's good to see you. Thank you. Well, you know I love wellness and pop culture, and so when it comes to the Oscars, if you're talking about overall wellness, Regina King, who is Best Supporting Actress for If Beale Street Could Talk, mm -hmm. she really is a great role model when it comes to wellness. She had hypertension in her family at a young age, and so she really changed her lifestyle from eating clean to making exercise a priority. Mm -hmm. And so now she is one of those people that you, one should look at as a role model in terms of taking small steps. Mm -hmm. yeah eat clean, exercise. She loves kickboxing and powerlifting. Wow, I wouldn't have thought that. Mm -hmm. All right, what about Christian Bale? Because we know we kind of had to change yes, his so this is sort of the opposite. Yes, this is yeah. what not to do. Yeah. Christian Bale has gone through so many transformations, and he jokes around about how for Vice, he became Dick Cheney by eating a lot of pies. Oh. So do uh -huh. not do that. Strawberry? Have, I mean, what did, did he have uh, a go-to you know, flavor? Oh, uh, cherry? Was. Everything. So a lot of pies is what he said. Pizza, beer, that is not what you do if you want to lose, lose or gain yeah. weight for that matter. <laughs> Eat wholesome fats like avocados, three avocados a day perhaps, mm -hmm. or nuts, seeds. Those are the ways if you need to gain weight or when you're looking to lose weight, sure. eat healthy food. I guess it's Very different when he's getting paid millions of dollars to gain the weight. It kind of changes the game. Well, um, I suppose, but he should be healthy also, yes. right? Right, right? But now right. He's, he's lost a lot of it. Right, he's back he has. To normal he self. has. Yeah. All right, and now we know how popular A Star is Born has I been know. this year. Have, mm -hmm. Did you see, did you see that? that? I saw the last 15 minutes and oh, I cried. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. So I cried throughout the whole movie. It's so good. But it really talks about mental health. Right. And that to me, and, and not just me, I think the world as well as Lady Gaga got up at the Grammys and said she was so honored mm -hmm. to be a part of this movie. And Bradley Cooper, of course, is such, such a champion of mental health. And that is where the conversation really is open. And yeah. that's why this movie is so strong. And, and it's equally as important as the physical health. You're talking about Correct. the weight loss and, and hypertension and all Correct. those other things, but mental, is, he, mental right. We wellness is right there. Right. Oh. And this movie is just encompasses that. Oh. Do you have a pick for, for best picture? I don't know. Wellness I, I, aside? Is it wellness aside? I really did love A Star is Born. And mm -hmm. I love how they made tribute to the old movies as well as the, the current one and made it pop culture. Yeah. How about you, Teresa? So. What's your pick? Uh, I haven't seen too many, uh, but I really did enjoy A Star is Born. You did. Also. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go. Fan. The, right. Well, the music was good. I'm going to go with Vice. I, I thought Christian Bale was yeah. incredible in the film. I was a big fan of Black Panther. That was another awesome right. film. So I don't know. I mean, there's so many to choose from. Oh, this I like year. Bohemian Rhapsody too oh, a lot. Oh, okay. We'll throw that so one throw in that there one as well. In the mix. All right. So who's to say? This Sunday, we'll have right. to say right. tune. Tune in right here to okay. Channel Eight. <laughs> Thank you yeah. so much for being here, and for your expertise. Of course, check out PrettyWellness.com. And here's a reminder: Oscars happening this Sunday, February 24th at eight o'clock. Don't forget the American Idol pre-show. Oh yeah, you can't yeah. forget about that. And also coming up.